hello everyone today we are going to see another statistical test which is correlation its assumptions its types uh, its method that is how to run it in spaces version 23 as well as how to interpret the results and write report on that so uh, so these are as i told you of the first question that i'm going to address is what is correlation what are its type we're going to see persons correlation spearman's correlation there is another type which is called candles toe uh, that can be a and b but we're not going to discuss this in, in this webinar uh, we are going to see the assumptions of uh, correlation because we should check the assumptions before ever running uh, or even thinking of collecting data and uh, uh, designing instruments and collecting data so we should know assumptions even before that stage so how to check normality this is another assumption it's among the, the assumptions how to run correlation in species version 23 how to interpret the results and write the report so well, let's get started with the first question so what is a correlation so a uh, correlation is a mutual relationship or connection between two or more things as defined by google dictionary and it, it is in fact an inferential statistic test that measures how two variables move in relation to each other the coefficient correlation ranges between a negative one o and one corresponding to negative correlation no correlation and positive correlation respectively so uh, this is an illustration of positive negative and no correlation graphically speaking so we have r uh, plus one which means this is a positive correlation and you see the direction of the line and this is r uh, equals minus one this is negative correlation uh, for this r equals zero so there is no correlation so there is this line we can draw this line here in the middle and this is a curved line uh, etc so let's see the types of correlation so as i told you we have the person's product that is sometimes called the person's product moment correlation referred to as r and the spearman's or spearman's rank order correlation uh, coefficient referred to uh, uh, r uh, subscript s so let's uh, see the assumptions of persons correlation or persons product moment correlation so the assumptions are mainly about level of measurement so we should have continuous uh, measurement this can be either an interval or ratio or sometimes even ordinal but we're going to see that with spearman not person uh, so person you should have uh, like an example of, of of continuous variable we have uh, weight in kilograms or uh, length etc etc so we have all grades from 1 to 100 so these are all continuous uh, variables related peers that is the same participants in group one should be in group two for example how uh, that is the uh, how students achievement correlates or uh, does not correlate with for example with with the time they spend on tests or the time they spend studying so the same students for well, one student is measured uh, in terms of uh, achievement as well as the time he or she spends uh, studying or he spends on the tests so uh, we have another assumption which is an absence of outliers with standard so it's, uh, it's outliers are mainly with the standard deviation of 3.29 uh, so this should so a person's uh, correlation is very sensitive to outliers so we should not have them in the data to run it and linearity that is there should be a linear uh, or line in the middle and the data should be scattered near the line uh, so as we are going to see for the assumptions for the, uh, of the spearman's correlation so this is non-parametric version of the person so just remember person because it begins with p it is parametric uh, correlation measure whereas spearman's is a non-parametric correlation measure and it is used sometimes when we have some uh, the, the first assumptions of four person uh, person's correlation are violated or are not met so we have the assumptions of spearman's correlation uh, again are about the level of measurement can be interval uh ordinal interval ratio so you can see here ordinal uh we, we can account for this data that is ordinal uh, we should have again related peers this is a 
uh, study design issue and linearity that is there should be a monotonic relationship between variables uh, okay so we are going to see how to run a correlation test on spaces from even uh, entering the data to checking for uh, linearity checking for normality as well as running the test to choosing which one to run whether spearmans or person and then then interpreting the result and uh, uh, writing the report okay so these are the steps as you can see but we are going to see them more practi practically uh, from uh, spaces so we open uh, the spaces file we go to variable view and we type uh, the variables so let's imagine that we want to uh, to see whether or not uh, there is a correlation between uh, students uh, scores in exams and the time they spend for example uh, revising okay uh, their lessons okay so let's uh, consider this is the id this is for case and this is for the uh, scores and this is for the time this span time of revision so we can enter variables like this and we go to label and we put again id uh, so here we cannot write the full name here we can write the full name scores and time of revision time of revision for example uh, and we go to the uh, values we should not put anything we can align this center just so uh, so, so that we can see it clearly and we go to measure this is the most important so for id we can put just nominal uh, but the most important thing is for the scores and time these are scale variables this is continuous variable not ordinal and not nominal uh, advise you to read about types of variables summarize in the, the category for the, the acronym NOIR referring to nominal order and ordinal interval and ratio so let's see so this is the data uh, entry in the variable view so we have here everything is set up we go to the data view and let's uh, enter the data imagine that we have 10 participants we are going to number them from 1 to uh, 10 okay uh, for example these are 10 students and for their scores for example uh, here in Morocco we have uh, out of uh, the grade is out of 20 not out of 100 uh, as in the United States or other countries uh, so let's imagine that the first student spends uh, for example 10 hours and he got for example uh, 19 the second student is uh, got for example 18 and he spent uh, nine hours for example the third uh, so this is just a fictitious data but you have to uh, the conduct a test to to see this okay so once we finish the data entry uh, let's check the linearity of this uh, data we go to graphs we go to chart builder and then we choose scatter plot we select this type of graph and we move uh, the time spent to the y-axis and the scores on the x-axis and click ok uh, so once we click ok we're going to have this scatter plot you see time of revision in hours 2 4 6 8 10 and scores from 10 to 20 so these are uh, this is you can see this is linear uh, distribution and this uh, notion or this criterion monotonic distribution is respected okay once we verify the distribution we go again to our data we go to let's now test normality we go to analyze descriptive statistics and we go to explore and we select the variables to the dependent list in plots we go to normality plots with tests and we can uncheck the steam and leaf uh, graphs and click ok so you can see here the test of normality that is the we have the colma graph Semyonov 
and the Shapiro work so what interests us here is the Shapiro work and you can see the SIG values which are uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 uh, or 14 and 18 so these values are greater than the p-value which is set at 0 0.05 this means that there is no statistically significant difference in the distribution of variables and therefore we can assume that the distribution is normal and our data uh, comply with the assumptions of normality in this regard we can go and run the parametric uh, correlation test which is the person uh, product moment correlation so let's go again to the data we go to analyze and we go to correlate then select bivariate and again let's move this scores and time of revision to the variables and we select person that is we check person we have candles toe b and spearman so we just uh, check person if our data is not normally distributed that is the shapiro work is uh, less than or below 0.05 we choose spearman okay so once we choose person we click okay and this is the correlation matrix so we have uh, scores we have uh, and time of revision so let's see whether the, there is correlation between score uh, for the scores variable so we have time of and with time of revision we have uh, 0 0.9096 or 996 and this is correlation is significant at the 0 0.01 level and you here you can see the sig two tailed uh, that is the, uh, the alpha is 0 0 0 this is three o's so this means that uh, we have that uh, we have a positive correlation that is significant at an alpha or an alpha level of 0 0.01 and you could the same for time of revision with in, in correlation with with scores it's the same uh, so these are the just uh, two uh, perspectives at looking at things so and you can see the box plot we don't have any outliers here and we can just copy and paste this uh, table which uh, we should make some few modifications and go and interpret the data so we go to the interpretation of the data so we can say that spearman's rank order correlation so we in our case we conducted person's uh, product moment correlation can say that it was run to determine the relationship between for example scores uh, scores and time of revision and there was a strong positive correlation between uh, scores and time of revision which was statistically significant and we put the correlation coefficient of r uh, and the significance level okay so that's it this is the way so we should change these values because these values correspond to the spearman's rank order correlation as a conclusion correlation is a statistical test to determine the association between two variables we have two types of uh, correlation we have persons and spearmans uh, correlation uh, these are common types of course we have other types like candles tau etc uh, assumptions on linearity measurement and normality must be checked before running any type of correlation the correlation coefficient ranges from uh, negative one to one uh, so that's all I think uh, for uh, the current uh, presentation uh, so these are some websites that you can consult and if you have questions don't hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial